What's up? Welcome back. So this video here today is almost like the one I asked you guys last time about, but it's about your guns. And I'm curious what you guys are spraying with. You guys know I use three different companies right now. I'm using the Iwata sealer gun. I'm using my uh, 3M gun for the base coat and I'm using a DV1 for the clear, but I'm not biased to any guns. And uh, you guys know I feel the same way about the paint. Whatever works well, you use it. So right now that's my combination and we're gonna shoot this job and I wanna see what you guys are using in the industry and at home on a continuous basis, what you think may be the best gun for the money. I'm hearing a lot about that Kamani uh, Iwata gun and I probably said it wrong, but it sounds like that and it looks like that to me, but I heard that gun is really well and I'm gonna be picking one up here shortly to try out and uh, give it a shot. But let me know what you guys are using at the house and on the job if you guys shoot every day. So we're gonna shoot this job. I'm gonna talk about my guns that I'm using and the settings because a lot of you guys are asking me what I'm using for settings on the guns and I'm gonna try to get into detail on that video here. So let's shoot this Equinox 410Y and uh, we'll go over the gun and we'll uh, shoot this job here. So stay tuned. All right, guys, so the first gun that I use is the Iwata sealer gun. And that's the LVWBX WS400 sealer primer gun with a 1.4 in it. And I'm spraying this gun wide open, pull the trigger in, and when this hits this, I'm done. And that's wide open on the fluid. And I'm doing one turn in, one turn in on the uh, pattern for this gun. So I'll show you what it looks like on this board. And that's the pattern that I like with this gun. I'm spraying that at about 23 PSI on the gauge. So that's what I like with this P30B black sealer. And I want to go ahead and finish. We're going to spray this job, but through the guns, I'm going to show you the setup and it on this pattern. That way you guys can see what I'm doing and where I'm spraying it. So this one here is wide open fluid. Pull the trigger in and as soon as it touches the needle, you feel it stop and one turn on this for the sealer. That's how I'm spraying this gun here. So let's go ahead and seal the job. So we put the sealer down and I know I usually tell you guys that I spray my guns wide open but with this particular gun being that fan is so big I don't want a fan that big for my sealer because when you start spraying that on panels that you're blending it puts out way too much overspray with that sealer so I tighten that fan up and uh, I keep it smaller but it still lays it down nice. And to me, it works better for that setup with the sealer, turning that fan in one turn and don't make it too big because unless you're sealing a full part, there's really no necessary need to have that fan so big. So I tighten it up a little bit to keep it smaller, to keep less overspray off my panel. So we got the sealer on it. I showed it to you. And uh, we'll move into the uh, base coat now with the 3M Performance. And we're gonna be shooting this one here with the one two. So I'll show you that gun. We'll spray it on the ball on the wall and uh, we'll see what the pattern looks like and the setting. All right guys, so now we're going into the base gun and you guys know it's the 3M gun with the one two. I'm spraying at 23 PSI at the gauge on the gun that comes with the gun. With the fluid turned all the way in to off, I come out three and a half turns on the fluid and then I have a wide open fan at the 23 PSI. So let's show you that pattern on this wall here to see what that looks like. And it almost looks like the Iwata, the way I have that sailor gun set up. So pretty nice, consistent look, almost like that. And it's a pretty decent size. So 
It's funny that the way I set both of these up almost spray the same and they're totally different. So that's how I do the base gun with the performance, with the one, two, and we'll move on. After we do the base, we'll move on to the clear gun and we'll be spraying this one with the DV1 and I'll show you how I spray that one. So let's go ahead and put some base on it. So we got all the base on the car and I went ahead and sprayed a little bit of base on this pattern so I could show you the setup and the pattern for the DV1 the way I have it set up. So when I'm spraying the DV1, I spray the DV1 wide open fan and wide open fluid. So I turn in the fluid all the way till I feel it on the trigger and then I stop. That way I know that the screw is actually tight and doesn't want to back its way out so i'll show you how this sprays and i'm spraying at 22 to 23 on the digital gauge on the gun so sometimes it fluctuates so i say 22 23 works good with the clear that i'm using if you guys are spraying a thinner clear turn it down maybe to 18 and try it but i like to spray my gun wide open and move in closer to adjust the way i want the clear to spray I don't go adjusting it out because I like to spray the gun wide open and I do the adjustment from being closer to the panel or distance from the panel. So let's try it out on the wall to see the pattern of it. It's hard to see with that uh, wrinkled paper, but I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an idea on how it looked, but it's pretty big. It's looking like it's about a 15 inch pattern. Maybe you could see it there better. It's definitely bigger than the sealer and bigger than the base gun. So wanted to give you just an idea and you can see it here. Definitely atomizes the clear very nicely, this gun. It does a very good job of atomizing the clear, especially with the C1. It's a little slower but you can really lay this clear on the way you want it to with this gun and that's why I'm a big fan of it. combination you got the Iwata for the sealer the 3m gun with the one two in it for the uh, base coat and the DV one for the clear so let me know what you guys are using also and uh, tell me your setups and that way we can see what everybody's using on the channel we know now what everybody's using as far as materials and I've seen a lot of you guys going back and forth and helping everybody out for uh, different products that you're using so read the comments see if you can help someone else out that's using what you're using and let's get this channel producing the best that we can so hope you guys liked it and see you next time